So then what'd you do? Oh, the usual. Made sure they put Luther away. Made out with Lois for a little bit. Flew out into space, smiled for the camera. Sweet. Yeah. And you know what else? Turns out Luther had this chunk of kryptonite that would have totally ruined me if he had just whipped it out. Really? Yeah, but for some reason, instead he just told me his evil plan first and then tried to trick me into finding the kryptonite myself. What's up with that? Villains are stupid. I know, right? You know what I would have done? I would have thrown a battering at him, then tied him up. And what about the missiles? Oh, I'd have some kind of bat missile defense gadget on my belt. Sure. It wouldn't be a problem. Dude. I would. Come on. You use that utility belt scenario for every situation. And what's wrong with my utility belt? Oh, nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. Just uh, whenever you get a uh, fly so fast it reverses time itself gadget on your belt, let me know. I'm Batman. I know you are. That's what I do. I know. You say that a lot. I carry things on my belt. Because I'm Batman. Dude, it's cool. What the heck was that? Peter Parker just did a uh, Saturday Night Fever strut across our window. I know, but why? I'm not sure, but I was afraid something like this would happen. What do you mean? Uh, have you seen this? Oh. So you just killed him? Yeah, I mean, it was either that or have Pepper do it for me. So I just decided to take all the credit. That's sort of arrogant and thoughtful. But still, you just killed him off. That's pretty dark. I mean, you knew the guy almost your whole life. He tried to kill me twice. And haven't you learned yet that if you put your supervillain in prison, they just vow revenge and break out again? Yeah, that, that never happens. So after you killed him, what happened? Well, after that, I uh, had a press conference and told the world I'm Iron Man. What? What? Dude! You can't give away your secret identity. Why not? Because I did, and I'm awesome, so in your face. You just can't. I mean, you're not supposed to. Yeah, I like the attention. And you mean to tell me you've never revealed your secret identity before? Uh, no. Ha! Try every girl you've ever dated. What? Oh, I'm Bruce Wayne, and I like you. Let me tell you my big secret. Oh, you're one to talk, Mr. Mind Eraser. Oh, don't even. I will freeze breath your face off. No, you won't. You're right, I won't. I love this guy. Up top. But you know I could have high-fived you into the ground just now, right? Guys, guys, it's not a contest. Because I think we all know who would win if it were. Me. Oh, oh whatever. I'm Batman. Let's arm wrestle right now. Hey, how come you guys never ask me to hang out? So I just lifted the entire island out of the ocean and I was about to throw it in outer Stop space. Stop talking! Wait. It's my turn now! Well, it is about time. Wait, is that your new stage voice? Yeah. What about it? Well, I mean, are you like gargling marbles or something? I could barely understand it. Whammo. Whoa, hold on a second. You hit him? Yep. You hit the Joker. Uh huh. You ran over a human being. Sure did. But. What about your rule? Didn't kill him. <laughs> you wanna know how I got these scars? Mm, from Batman? From Batman. Hey, he said he wanted me to do it. You, sir, are bold. I'll bet Gotham loves you now. Well, turns out the Joker already had this unbeatable plan. A lot of people died and... <clears throat> Now the city hates me. What? They hate you? How is this a good story? It's because I'm the hero Gotham deserves. But not the one it needs. It's, it's complicated, but it's pretty awesome when you think about it. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. But dude, you know what I would have done? Oh, I don't know. Probably just fly, fly really, really fast, fast saving, saving everyone, everyone from, from the, the bullets, bullets and explosions. explosions. Exactly! Yeah, well, I can't do all those things. Because I'm not a super bulletproof alien from another planet that can defy gravity. But you know what I can do? What's that? Make an incredibly awesome movie. Do you know why? Because you're bad. Because I'm Batman! So are we just gonna pretend like those guys never happen? Is that what we're doing? Yep.
So you just abandoned everything? Of course. Wouldn't you? No. Yes. Dude! What can I say? Chicks are my kryptonite. Yeah, I'd probably leave it all behind too. Yep. But still, what about your brother? I mean, won't he destroy that ice realm? Meh. If he does, I'm sure my father will take care of it when he wakes. Blah, Odin's sleep. I've done it, father! I destroyed all of Jodenheim while you were sleeping! And that is why you are also banished! What? I take from you your power! And I cast you out! Son of a... Ice giant! Your dad is sort of extreme. Well, I suppose he's a little strict, but everything he does, he does for a reason. Like stealing a baby? And then raising that baby as your brother? And making him believe he could be king? So that he goes crazy with jealousy and becomes your lifelong enemy? Yeah. Way to go, Dad. Yes, well, that may be true. But at least I have a father. Oh, burn! So are we just gonna do this every time a superhero comes along? Probably. Feels like we always do. Not always. <laughs> ah, he'll be fine. He just gets really moody. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who choose to oppose his shield must yield. Unless you're a plane, or a bomb, or some ice, then he'll choose to take a nap. Cause the ice seems nice. When Captain America throws his mighty shield! Haha, <laughs> 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 guys. You're hilarious. Hey, I'm Captain America. I can sock old Hitler on the jaw. Yeah, just make sure someone else pilots the plane to get me there, right? <laughs> 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 you remember Hitler, right? That other guy you were fighting before you froze yourself? <laughs> hey. I had no choice, okay? <laughs> Don't crash the plane in warmer waters. I only swim when I'm chasing submarines. <laughs> oh, like you two could have done it any better. <laughs> Are you kidding? Dude, I catch falling planes in midair like every other week. And I'm Batman. Okay, okay, fair enough. But wait. <gasps> Shh. Do you guys hear that? It hear what? Is that the Justice League calling? I don't hear anything. Yeah, me neither. Exactly. So now I'm in a wheelchair. Magneto and I are old friends that still play chess together from time to time, but we're also kind of mortal enemies. Mortal frenemies. And sometimes we play chess with real people's lives in the balance. That doesn't seem like it would help your cause at all. Well, take it up with this guy. Mutants are the future. We can live in peace. No, we cannot. Oh my gosh, we have been arguing about this for nearly 50 years. Wow. X-Men are stubborn. Tell me about it. So, what you doing over there? Just posting an update. Yeah, uh, we need to talk about your status updates. Why? Um, because they're coming across a little arrogant. Arrogant? What do you mean? Well, let's take a look here, shall we? Let's pull up your profile. Here we go. Just save the day. Just save the day. Just got back from saving the day. Here I go to save the day. Just save the day twice. I'm saving the day. Just save the day tagged with Wonder Woman. Just save the day. And you just posted something new. What does it say? Ah, just saved the day. Yeah, I just rescued these people while you're reading that. Well, that's my point. What? You're flooding everyone's updates with the same message. You think you could tone it down? Tone down the Earth constantly needing my assistance? No, I don't think I can, because I've been at it for a long time, and it doesn't seem to be letting up. Well, maybe you shouldn't post your victories online every time. Some people might take it the wrong way. Are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous. My updates are awesome. Check it out. Okay, well that is a debatable definition of awesome, but how is that not arrogant? Because it's the truth. Well, so is what I post. I save the day all the time. That's what I do. Save the day. I'm probably gonna save the day tomorrow. And I'm gonna be Batman tomorrow. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> I need to tweet that real quick. I'm starting to think you started this conversation just so you could say because I'm Batman. Well, I'm starting to think you're onto something. Hey! 
How come you guys won't accept my friend request? Uh, we will. As soon as you make a good movie. <laughs> Man, I am so addicted to this phone. It can do anything. Anything except survive a splash of water. Exactly, it has one weakness. It's like, well, it's like me, but it's a phone and it's made out of breakable glass, which is really two weaknesses, but it's still awesome. You should get one. I don't need that phone. Everyone knows I have my sweet bat phone that can do anything your phone can do, except mine looks like a bat and I made it myself. That sounds so exhausting. Why don't you just enjoy the features someone else designed for a change? Because I'm rich and I can afford my own network. Duh. Yeah, but the time it takes you to build all that stuff, you could have just... Okay, fine. But dude, my phone talks to me. It can remind me to do stuff, tell me where I'm at on the map. Siri is cool. It's like Jarvis and Iron Man. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Not even close. Yeah, but I don't need a digital assistant. I have Alfred. Check it out. Alfred. Yes, sir. Is it going to rain today? Uh, one moment, sir. I'll check. Is it going to rain today? There's no rain in the forecast for today. No, Master Wayne, I don't believe it's going to rain today. Thanks, Alfred. See? I don't need that phone. I got my bad phone. And it can do anything your phone can do. But Alfred just used the same- It's just as good as your phone. All right. Do you know why? Because it's a bad uh, phone. There it is. Call me Batman. From now on, I'll call you Batman. Okay? So I said you'll have plenty of time for that. In prison. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Oh my gosh, there's a little man uh, next to you. What the? I'm not little. Who is that? It's me, Mario. You didn't see this guy? No, I saw him. I can see everything. What, uh, what are you doing here, Mario? Are you lost? I'm gonna hang out with my people. The superheroes, just like everybody else. I don't think that's how this works. Yeah, this feels really forced. I'm just like you. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm a superhero! <laughs> no. No, you aren't. I rescue the princess! I'm sorry, but just because you rescue a princess from an unlocked castle does not make you a superhero. Sorry, pal, that's just normal hero. He says, Super Mario in the game. You are Superman, I am Super Mario. It is the same. We are the same. We are not the same. I don't have to eat crazy plants to get powers. I can throw fire. So? I can be invincible! For a limited time, yes? I can swim underwater for a long time. We are not the same, dude! Then I'm just like him! I have no power, so I wear a costume! Let's, uh, let's not get carried away, Mario. I don't wear raccoon ears and a tail. Because I'm Batman. You see the difference? Nope! We are the same. Well, I got nothing. I don't know what to do here. Kindly step aside, Red Plumber! What? Oh, thank you. Hey Mario, get out of here. You're in our seat. We're gonna need a bigger booth. I'm Batman. I'm a Mario. I'm Batman. I'm a Mario. This place serves food? Yeah. You never had shawarma either? Shawarma! Um, why do I have to sit on Hulk's lap? Mm. Another! Hey, I'm Batman. You wanna know my secret identity? Why? <clears throat> so, you guys had quite a weekend. <laughs> That's an understatement. First you guys were all against each other, then your buddy got killed, so you're suddenly friends. <laughs> Someone died? Uh, yeah, um, you kind of missed out on that part. But luckily you still wanted to be friends later. Oh. Yeah, right after you fell from the sky and conveniently learned to control your rage. And did you steal a motorcycle? Um, details not important. Details like Odin being able to send Thor back to Earth? What? Or the professor conveniently making a way to close the portal? That worked out well for you guys. Or the Chitari all dying Phantom Menace style after the nuke? Yep, one convenient thing after another. Hmm, kind of like your utility bill. Oh, <laughs> burn. You know what I think? I think you two are just jealous 
that we knocked it out of the park. <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Slam. Josh yeah. is boss. Sorry, guys. I'm not jealous. I'm Batman. I guess I would be jealous if I wasn't like all of you combined. If I couldn't fly or shoot lasers or catch missiles or see really far or smash through buildings or wear red and blue. What's that? You're fading out. Whoa! We, we broke it too many records! We can't hear you through all of this box office money! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So are you going to Comic-Con this year? Comic-Con? You mean that super crowded thing at the convention center? Yeah. Why would I want to go to that? Because it's fun, dude. You get to celebrate the popular arts. There's so much to learn and see. Yeah, I see things like thousands of people standing in a line. Or thousands of other people bumping into one another. It's like a massive ant farm. Except the ants wear costumes and, and carry giant bags everywhere. What's wrong with costumes? Nothing, I'm just not into cosplay, that's all. Since when? Since always. But you dress up like a bat all the time. I dress like a bat because I'm Batman. But still, those lines are way too long. Not for me. If I want to see an exclusive trailer in Hall H, I just float comfortably from outside and brrrr, x-ray vision, super hearing. Watch it with ease. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Well, line the place and let if it means that much to you. Are there going to be any good movie promos this year? Uh, let's see. Iron Man 3. The Avengers wasn't Iron Man 3. Pacific Rim. What is that? I don't know. Something about giant robots and aliens. Okay. The Hobbit. Lord of the Rings prequel. It's not exactly a prequel, but yes. And yours truly, the Man of Steel. So why don't you want to be there? Because I'm the movie Comic-Con deserves, but not the one it needs. You know what I mean? What, like the Twilight movie? Is that what it needs? Maybe. Get your butt to the con right now. You can't make me. There's no time. Yes, I can. How can you make your costume look so real? Because I'm Batman. I still can't get over how no important Gotham characters died in that story. I know. It's pretty awesome. I mean, like nobody. Even you. Even me. You had your back broken, your heart broken, your bank account even broken. You even got stabbed, dude. Yep. How are you still breathing right now? Never mind. I already, I already know what you're gonna. Because say. I'm Batman. <sighs> I walked right into that one. Yes, you did. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Oh man. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Okay, I promise I won't laugh. Don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> Why? Those are the best kinds. <laughs> Man, if that were true, anyone could get away with anything. I know, right? You guys, I was trying to be sweet for my girlfriend. Yeah, after you made her suffer through her father's death all alone. Yeah, you're in the doghouse, dude. Yeah, but she'll get over it, right? Uh... Um, Sure. Good luck. Oh, man. You know what I would have done? Thrown a batarang at him? Probably. But I would have also used that antidote immediately on Dr. Connors when he was temporarily frozen. Then Gwen's dad doesn't have to die at all. But what about all the other cops that were turning into lizards? Well, they would change back to humans after one day, right? Oh. You also had that lizard formula in your hands before Captain Stacy died. Why not give him a little dose? Maybe it's regenerative powers would heal his wounds. Wow, I did not think about that. You are totally right. Well, I'm Batman. I would have just reversed time. Saved everyone. I can't believe this. I'm so embarrassed. Don't worry, kid. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. So... You had a pretty sweet trailer recently. I know, wasn't it awesome? It's just like, yes. Uh huh. I gotta say, I cried a little bit. Yeah. I mean, when I saw Christopher Nolan's name on the screen, I got a little overclimbed myself. That's. I was like, Nolan, I need a tissue. That's not why people are excited about it. I'm pretty sure it is. No. You know. That's not. Because of Batman. The only reason. 
He didn't even direct this one. Well, then why do they need to put his name in the trailer? They put producer credits in trailers all the time. Yeah, for the movies that need Daddy Warbucks' name to help it sound more exciting. That's not what's... From the makers. No. Of that one movie you love. No. In this case, movies. Stop it. Comes this other movie. That's in no way the same, but we want you to think it will be. I could throw you into the sun. <laughs> what sort of trailer would you have preferred? Would you rather have just been a bunch of clips of destruction with a soundtrack going... Bruh. Bruh, bruh. No, because that would have been a ripoff of Mr. Nolan as well. Listen, I just think it was an exciting and meaningful trailer, and people are tired of seeing the same old thing. Well, that or people are excited because you haven't been in a great movie since 1980. <laughs> oh, go climb out of a wishing well. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. What? Knock, knock. Seriously? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Beak. Beak who? Oh, God. Because I'm Batman! You gave up on which one? Rachel. You gave up on your girlfriend? Ex. Oh, so now she's your ex. She was always my ex. Yeah, right. I wanted to go out with the cat burglar. You, uh... Been tearing yourself up about Rachel for six months. Now you're happily ever after with this Catwoman. Yep. Well, Bruce, I'll bite. You know, man, I didn't understand it either. It's all so hard. Then it hit me on the way over here, you know, like a ton of bricks. It's just so simple. When you- Dude, dude, wait a second. I'm getting vibed in like a really weird way here. This girl's looking at me like she knows me a little bit. You don't recognize her? No, I don't think I've ever met her before. I would definitely remember this one. She's got a lot of confidence, man. She's doing like... Wow. What's going on? Bruce, stop, stop. She's playing like a little fun game with me. Come on, you little party girl. That's it. Fun little games. You want to play fun little games? Come on, you cute little baby. What are you doing? Bruce, 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 stop. I'm Batman. She's smiling at me. She's playing these fun little baby games. She don't know me. She doesn't know my address. You know my address? You little... Oh, wait, she's, she's coming over here. Play cool. She's like the wild loony, but I threw like a great vibe at her. Like the funny vibe. You'll see. Crap. Yeah, we're gonna go bye-bye now. We're gonna go bye-bye. Yes, we're gonna go see Daddy. So, so you called this Catwoman girl up, right? Or you, or you didn't call her. You said you didn't call her? Why didn't you call her? Bruce? Bruce. You know what bugs me? What? When the president is being held hostage in the Iron Patriot suit, the suit is completely useless. But when Rhodey puts it on, it suddenly works completely fine. That's what bothers you? Yeah, that bugs me. Well, you know what bugs me? How you got all the way back to Gotham City after climbing out of that prison on the other side of the planet. Why don't you explain that? Why do so many people have a problem with this? I said, it's because I'm Batman. Can we get back to the story, please? Fine, continue. So are you retired now, or what? I don't know, are you retired now? Well, I know I'm not retired. I'm just getting started. Here, hang on to these for me, will ya? What the? Gross! I'll be right back. Reboot! I am Iron Man. I'm Batman. Wow. So you actually saved all of them. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what I do. I save the day. Plus, villains are stupid, remember? Nice. So then what'd you do? Well, I did what everyone was expecting. I made out with Lois for a little bit, flew out into space, and smiled for the camera. Sweet. Can you imagine if you had to fight those guys on land? Oh my gosh, thousands of people might have died! Plus billions of dollars in property damages. I can't pay that kind of debt on a daily planet salary. I mean, you could, because you're- Because I'm Batman. I was gonna say rich. I am also rich. I'm rich Batman. Oh my gosh. You know, some might think that's getting a little annoying. Oh, well, what are you gonna do about it? Snap my neck. I could if I wanted to. <laughs> We are 
gonna be in a movie together. I know. It's gonna be awesome. I have so many questions. Yeah, me too. Do you think there'll be a cafe? I doubt it. What's the premise? Not sure. They're making everyone believe it's a versus movie. Versus? Like who would win in a fight? That's weird. What are they gonna call it? Well, there's only one thing you can call it, I say. The Dark Knight Rises. Again. And then beats up Superman. Whatever. Sounds like the appropriate title to me. Come on, let's be honest. If that's how we're naming this movie, then we should name it Man of Steel, the punch from space that exploded Batman's internal organs. Dot dot dot. Or did it? No way! I could wipe you out like a meteor to some dinosaurs. Oh, please. I survived an atom bomb. You mean you tricked everyone into thinking you were in the atom bomb? Dude, you got stabbed by your lady friend when she was right next to you. You punched the Joker over and over again and all he did was laugh. Bane broke your back. You didn't even defeat him. That was Catwoman, technically. And Alfred even saved you from your own burning house one time. Yep. I went through all of that. And I'm still standing. Just call it Man of Steel, Total Ponage. Or, because he's Batman. Your ultimate get-out-of-jail-free card. Dude, I would end you. No way. You're too much of a Boy Scout. I'd have the upper hand. Easy. Boy Scout, huh? Well, that's a funny comparison. Boy Scouts are always prepared. Sounds like a certain person's utility belt I know of. Oh, I'll have all sorts of tricks up my sleeve. You'll never see me coming. Okay, Mandarin. Why don't you lose the gadgets, take off the gloves, and punch me in the face and see if I even blink? You sure you want a bat bruising? Oh, there will be no bruising. Oh, yes, there will. A bat breeze, maybe. Here it comes. Are you ready? I'm ready. You sure you want this? No, dude, I'm not scared. You sure? Yeah. All right, here it goes. I'm waiting. Man of Steel was not inspiring. Now that's just hurtful. You blinked. Peace, I'm out, I'm Batman. I really don't understand. If you couldn't stop the guy in the top hat before, how does Clara jumping into your time stream suddenly fix the problem? Yeah, for real. It just does. I don't know. She's the impossible girl. So do you two just sit here every day? How do you not get bored? So what are you doing here, Mr. Doctor? Well, being a Time Lord, I've saved entire planets time and again. I'm basically a superhero for the universe. So I thought I'd take a little break, drop on by, and say, You're welcome, gentlemen. You save planets? All the time, yes. My planet exploded. So what's the deal? Ah yes, Krypton. Sorry about that. F fixed point in time, I, I couldn't interfere. Very difficult to explain. Hmm. Convenient. Yes, yes it is. Just like your utility belt, as they say. Just like your magic wand. It's not magic, it's a sonic screwdriver, and I bet you'd love to have one. No, I'd have a bat screwdriver. What would a bat do with a screwdriver? You could have saved Rory and Amy! What? They lived happily ever after. You abandoned them in America. Is he always like this? Amy! I would have gone back for you! Because I'm Batman! Sorry, he's kind of passionate. She's so hot. Attractive companions, yes. One more item on the superhero comparison. As I said, you're welcome. So what's next, Doc? Oh, I don't know. More of the same, I suppose. Always running, always saving. Probably get a new body soon. Big adjustment period, really. Well, let us know if you ever need any help with a Dalek or something. Oh, I don't think that would be necessary. Why not? You see, it's hard to snap a Dalek neck when they don't have necks to begin with. Oh, snap. More like <sighs> no snap. <laughs> see what I did there. You're all right, Mr. Doc. <laughs> you guys are never going to let that go, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now seriously, go back and save Amy. Hey, you want to know my secret identity? No, no, out. How did you even get in here? Because I'm Batman. You guys stood me up, didn't you? <laughs> because I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he stole your microwave emitter! <laughs> and, you, and you just turned it off! <laughs> yep. The jerk burned down my house. Oh man, I needed that. <laughs> Villains are so stupid. Yes, they are. You're lucky that microwave emitter didn't vaporize every living thing standing nearby. Oh, I know. That would have been more realistic and terrible. So where are Ra's al Ghul and the Scarecrow now? 
Oh, they're locked away in Arkham Asylum. We won't be seeing them again. <laughs> so the two of us broke out, and he still thinks we're locked in Arkham. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Heroes are so annoying. Hey guys, it's Daniel here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. This is like the longest video we've ever posted. You made it all the way to the end of Volume 1! You deserve a prize! Well, how about the option to purchase a brand new Super Cafe t-shirt? I like that! We're having a limited time flash sale on our new Super Cafe shirts, so if you want one, you should click this little box here to go order one right now. Or, if you just want to watch part 2 of the compilation, click this button right here. Or, if you want the mega playlist with all of our superhero How It Should Have Endeds, then click this playlist right here. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye!